Last year, hawker store Ugly Muffins made headlines when its owner announced his retirement after 18 years in business. Anton Tang, 53, had taken over his parents' longtime Z Char stall called Bliss Haven Restaurant at Toa Peolo One, but pivoted to selling muffins. His muffin shop proved popular enough to spawn a second outlet, Jalan Bisa, though all that came to a halt in October 2023, when Anton decided to take a break as he could not find a successor to take over his stalls as he's getting older. Speaking to 8days.sg, the bachelor shared back then that his business had grown to a scale that is somewhat beyond the owner's capability of management. He had offered to train potential successors who pay a $3.000 cost fee, but the search was ultimately unsuccessful. Young people generally don't want to be hawkers these days, he opines. After one last hurrah, where he attracted snaking cues for giving away free muffins to thank customers for their support. Anton pulled down his shutters on October 10. After that, I went travelling for two months, staying in hostels with workers. I went to places like Hong Kong and Shanghai, came back to Singapore for a day. And went to Manchester, in the UK, where I used to study engineering. Then I went to Paris, Bulgaria. He shared. While waiting in Paris for a vendor to whip up a French crepe, Anton got the idea to sell crepes upon his return to Singapore. Manpower had been his Achilles heel as a hawker, and all the minute crepes were less laborious to make than trays of muffins. So Anton reopened his ugly muffin stall on March 4 this week and put up a handwritten sign advertising French crepes in three flavors, fresh banana, fruit of the day and nut of the day. All crepes are slathered with a generous layer of Nutella and, incredibly, are priced at just $2 each as an opening promotion that will run for a yet-to-be-determined period. Customers who buy five crepes will get one more for free. During our visit, he also offers uncommon sourdough crepes, though he is unsure if he will continue to do so. The crowd in this hawker centre are generally old people, and they are not used to a sourish taste for food. When I made an Oreo flavour for my muffins last time, some of them informed me that there were white flecks in the muffins, Anton laughs. But the unusually philosophical hawker has a new perspective on work after his hiatus. He muses, I have decided to run my stall like how I travelled, just go with the wind. His muffin ovens are still placed prominently at the front of the stall, though he no longer uses them and relies on a crate pen these days. There's nowhere to store my ovens anyway, he date pens. We have also never seen a hawker stall with three signboards. Anton's mother had insisted that he cannot touch her Bliss Haven restaurant signboard when he took over. And so his ugly muffins signboard was tacked on below. If I add one more for crepes, I think my storefront will look a bit crowded, he notes wryly. Anton's golden-hued crepes are marvellous. The delicate skillet pancake is soft, but without the crispier shell of a French galette. The batter forms just a thick enough layer to cradle gooey Nutella, which Anton smothers with tart slices of ripe Birangan bananas. The Ongbok Gio's sharp flavor and tangy sourdough crepe add an elegant depth to the junky hazelnut spread sweetness. And just because, Anton scatters a handful of crunchy chopped peanuts on our banana crepe, which makes it even nicer. As for how much the top up is for the nuts, you will have to ask the man himself, cause he is still figuring things out as he goes. If you don't fancy sourdough, the plain crepe is just as good. There is a fruit of the day crepe, which was strawberry during our visit Anton gets his fruits from the wet market downstairs. He emphasizes that the fruit options are mostly seasonal. And customers could also randomly get grapes.
but he also plans to serve the Koso raisins on crepes, which sounds delish and atus, especially at $2 a pancake. Out of the three flavors, we find that of the day, peanuts with Nutella on a crepe underwhelming, though still tasty. The generously portion crepes almost make a full meal by themselves when stuffed with fruits like bananas and strawberries, and would definitely cost a whole lot more when plated fancily at a cafe. Worth a trek to Toa Peo for this. As Anton is a one-man show, we recommend that you contact him in advance for bigger orders to avoid disappointment.